What up gamers, I'm Jason and today on Dyson Dragons I'm going to be unboxing the Simon comic book Kickstarter. As you can see we've got the comic books and the comic book extras here. Now if you want some information as to who wrote the comic books as well as who designed the different expansions, all of that will be down below in the video description. It'll just be below the timestamps. Also, as we will be taking a look at the comic books, uh, if you don't want to have any spoilers at all, we're just going to be taking a quick peek. So not really discussing the story, but keep that in mind. You may want to skip that content. The first thing that we're going to take a look at will be these extras. Now, what do you get in this Kickstarter? Well, you have different comic books set in the world of some of Simon's most popular games with Cthulhu Death May Die, Zombicide 1st Edition and 2nd Edition, Zombicide Invader, and Rising Sun. You also got some extras for the game. Uh, you get some new game modes and cards for Rising Sun, well as you get new hero characters for the other games. Well, that's enough of me talking about the Kickstarter. Let's take a look at all of this content. We're gonna start with the extras because you know we are a board game channel after that we'll be taking a look at the different comic books remember there are timestamps so you can take a look at the content that you want well that's enough of me talking let's take a look at these extras now we're going to take a look at what's in the box for the comic book extras for Simon's comic book kickstarter now we're going to start with the rising sun comic book extras probably the least interesting of them just because there are no miniatures included so here we've got the special game modes and the new rules so the ninjas of rising sun the new province cards how you can use the new clan cards as well as the merciful conquest rules you'll notice that i've just pre-opened the packs now i'm only opening this up to actually uh, confirm that we've got everything uh, that we needed as uh, i'm not going to be keeping the rising sun one we no longer have the game it just wasn't the kind of thing that uh, was getting played so we've got all the different province cards for the game as you can see here for the new mode put these back in the box yeah, so I'm looking for missing anything. These are the new clan cards for the uh, Chico clan. So they've got turtle dragonfly symbols, moon, bonsai dragonfly, lotus. So all of the different symbols that you're going to need. And you see these are all the, the clan cards. So you'll be able to learn how this will play with the rules. I will not be explaining that during this. This is strictly an unboxing of the components. Then we have some of the new monster cards, Path of the Vassal, Generosity, Only of Blood, Path of Might. So we do get all of these new cards that get added to the autumn, summer, and spring phases of the game. So there you have it. That's what in is included in the box for Rising Sun. We'll get this put back in its box. And we'll then take a look at one of the games that's been uh, very popular, well, as of late. We're gonna move on to the brand new Zombicide second edition. So we'll just lift this up here for a moment. Gotta bring it closer so I can open it up. Take a look at what we've got. Now, we have the rule set here, and as you notice, this is Zombicide. So this rule set and, well, not rule set, the comic book extra missions can be used with the original Zombicide game. And I'll just move this off camera. You notice here it does say it includes components for first and second edition. Here we have the comic book extra missions for second edition. So just some slight differences in terms of the explanations. For the rules, I'll just tilt this over to be able to get the uh, content out. So here we have your first edition survivor sheets. I just pre-opened the packaging because Simons are notoriously awful. So Norman, Norman, Marion, I'll do it like this. We didn't get a good shot of Marion. You can see her there. Keiko, Julio, Chen. Hobo, Harlock, and Diana. 
Now, you do have the, the Zombiver side on the back, but as you'll notice, there is no uh, Zombiver picture. I guess because they've really started to focus on 2.0, they really uh, did not do that art. So let's take a look at the 2.0 cards that we have here. So we got Diana, Harlock, and the art is really the same. Hobo, you can see all of their uh, abilities. Jen, Julio, Keiko, and Marion, Norman. On the back, you do have the explanation of their skills, which I think is just really cool. Bring this a little closer so we can take a look at the miniatures. I don't think I'll be keeping the, uh, the box. As I do have everything for second edition, these, uh, these aren't gonna be going uh, anywhere. So take a look at each of the minis up close. So here we've got our miniature for Harlock. Here we got Norman. Just like the others on besides second edition miniatures, they look very good. We've got Jen, who looks totally badass wielding two submachine guns. I love Keiko, the, uh, the shrine maiden style. Always enjoyed uh, Japanese culture. Also love the big spear. Here we've got Diana, who looks like she's ready to kick butt and take out zombies. We got the hobo wielding the crowbar with the, the awesome uh, jacket on. We've got Marion. She's probably a police officer or something. I'm not quite sure. Then Julio, the baseball player who really should be using the nail bat. I'm wondering, I'm just curious if his first skill has to do with nail bat starts with baseball bat. So we'll always start with a baseball bat. That is pretty cool. So we will put everything back in the box and there you have it, the comic book extras for Zombie Side and Zombie Side uh, Second Edition. All right, we're gonna keep going here. And this is another box I probably will not be keeping as Invader definitely has, I think, my favorite rule set. So these are the comic book extras for Invader. Now these, of course, can be used with the uh, Dark Side expansion as well. So we have part one, the stepmother. So this is the new uh, special mission. We're gonna be facing a new abomination. And there's part two. So any of the special rules that you need are listed on this sheet. Here we have the character cards. So camouflage, Kane's got tough. Definitely reminds you of the Punisher. Yuko, Blade Master, very cool. Oleg, full auto, Pro MD, auto repair, and Connor, it's got a born leader. You can see what type of characters they are, as there is the difference between soldiers and civilians. We've got our new enemy cards. And just with all of the packs, I just got them started. So we have the new stepmother abomination cards, and the specific rules for the stepmother are on the card here. Let's take a look at the miniatures. We've got the nasty abomination, the stepmother. Very cool looking and looks definitely like an evil stepmother. Let's take a look at the miniatures that we've got. So here is Oleg, looks great. We've got Yuko who starts with Blade Master and a little disappointed she's holding a gun and not uh, some blades. This is Pro MD. Looks very cool. We've got uh, Compusa. Reminds me a little bit of Kerrigan from uh, StarCraft. And oh, I think I put her back the right way. I want to make sure I got the name of the other characters right. So we got Kane and Connor. That are left. Kane, cool looking, like the details. Then we've got Connor. I always enjoy the. Uh, the jackets, especially the cyberpunk style jackets. I really just think that style looks awesome. So there are the comic book extras for the for Zombicide Invader. Just let me get this back to the table. It's been a little while since I've played Invader, but uh, had a lot of fun with it and really do enjoy the rule set. Although I think there's probably a higher chance uh, that the last comic book extra pack that we're gonna be looking at will get there first. So as 
you know, true tradition we're saving the best for last. Definitely my favorite game out of all of these, and probably Julie's as well. It is Cthulhu Death May Die. So let's take a look at the heroes. We do get some new tokens, as uh, looks like these heroes do have some abilities that have to do with token. So Tamara, with her Arcane Painter ability, means you're going to be using those painting icons. And of course, you get a little bit of detail on the character and where they're from on the back, which I always think is really cool. We've got Alan, who's got Detective. So these are his token. Looks very cool. Almost looks a little bit like uh, Poirot there. We've got uh, Jack. Truck driver, it's got brawling and swiftness. So really the special skills for those that don't know Cthulhu Death Might Die are the ones up here. Rocco with War Veteran. Annabelle with her channeling. Malakota, sorry, Lisa with uh, Malakota. And then we're back to the start. Now, this is an unboxing, we're really not gonna go over these, uh, these skills, but we may do a review. And if we do happen to do a review, we will take a look at that. Ah. I just moved that off camera, but you can see the uh, the tokens. Nothing too special there. Let's, let's look at these new uh, cultists. So to make things a little more challenging, you've got expert cultist cards. So you use your same cultist minions, but they do have different dice that they will roll and different abilities, which I think is a pretty cool idea. And so the last thing we got to look at are, of course, the miniatures for these extras. So here we've got Alan, looking very cool. We've got Jack, wielding a lot of awesome weaponry. This is Lisa right here. I'm trying to remember one thing. We've got Tamara. I'm drawing a blank on the other two. So let's just take a quick peek. It's Annabelle and Rocco. So here we've got Rocco. Definitely looks like your typical pulp 1940s adventurer. And lastly, we've got Annabelle, who looks like a, your, your, uh, like a gypsy type uh, character. There you have it. We've now looked at the comic book extras for Cthulhu, Death May Die. We've gone through all of the new content. And keep it right here. I'm not quite done taking a look at everything. These are comic book extras, but as we are a board game channel, we wanted to take a look at the game extras first. We'll then take a quick look at the comic books. Then I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. And I forgot to put the uh, plastic back. Like I said, I'll be figuring out some other storage option for these. And that's always great to have new content, especially for uh, three of our uh, favorite games. Now, even though we enjoyed Rising, well, I enjoyed Rising Sun, it just was not hitting the table nearly enough to keep it in our collection. So keep it right here, as we'll take a look at the comic books themselves. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the Zombicide comics from the Simon Comics Kickstarter. Now we'll take a look at the standard Zombicide one, which covers first edition and second edition. It is called Day One. We just have a description as to what's happening, but essentially, uh, this is the first day of the zombie apocalypse. You're gonna see some of your favorite characters, as well as the ones featured in the comic book extras. So we have all the details as to who the story was by, the script. We're just gonna flip through it quickly to show off the art. You can see uh, the characters Ho Hobo, Keiko. This looks like uh, uh, drawing a blank. One of the characters from second edition, the main, game and so as you can go through this stuff you'll see well-drawn art and this is broken up like a graphic novel so there are some short stories in here exactly so you got short stories about Amy, Doug, Josh and some of the characters from the original game so yeah you can see they're just broken up there and really I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the comic I haven't actually read it yet, but uh, I will be reading them and doing a review on the channel. How and when and what the release schedule is, we're not quite sure yet. Now this is the one for Invader, Dead Contact, and as you can see, it does feature the characters from the comic book extras. All the details, as you can see, are once again right here. So it's by the same people for the story and the script. Now this is set on Planet PLK7. 
and follows the story of you facing the Xenos. And as you can see, you do have some of the characters that made appearances in the game. It looks really cool. I always enjoyed this idea, this uh, sci-fi setting of everything about. Look at the comics. As you can see, you do have, once again, some nice chapters that it is broken up into. And you get some cool background on some of the different characters. So like, for example, this is uh, M. Puse's whole story. Very cool stuff. Uh, just wanted to take a quick look at these two comics. Next, we'll take a look at Cthulhu, Death May Die, and Rising Sun. So we'll take a look at the comic books for Cthulhu, Death May Die, and Rising Sun. So Fight or Flight is the name of this one. It's broken up into different chapters. So far, I like the art, like the setting. It definitely feels like you're in the world of Death May Die, some bright colors, but lots of creepy stuff going on. As you can see, you also have a bunch of the characters from the original game making their appearance as well. So it's not just the comic book characters. And let's see on the back if we've got any of uh, these side stories, short stories about some of the characters. And I'd be curious to see if this is gonna be an ongoing thing and we'll get more. So we've got uh, stories from Morgan. Oh, this I think was Julie's favorite character. We'll go forward a little bit. She loved playing as, uh, yeah, Leah. She was one of Julie's favorites. So overall, lots of cool stuff that you can see here. So this is the Cthulhu Death May Die comic. And here we've got Rising Sun, which is the smallest comic, actually the only one that has the, uh, the names written on the front. I do love the art in the interior. So you've got all the details. And this one looks to be more like a one shot. It's still broken up into chapters. But as you don't have any specific characters, it doesn't look like there's really any, any side stories. This looks to be more like a one and done story. So there you have it. We've taken a look at all of the comic books for this Kickstarter. Now keep it right here as I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also down below in the video description, there are links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you would like to see Julie and I playing any of these games, there are some pictures on all of those feeds. And also in the description is our link to multizone.ca. Click that link, you'll get 10% off your next purchase. And it's a great way to support the channel as a portion of that purchase is returned to us. So you may even be able to find some of this Kickstarter exclusive content there. They do back a lot of Kickstarters, especially Simons. And now popping up in front of me are gonna be links to some of our previously released videos. Over here will be our most recent release. And over here, it's gonna take you back to our review and how to play of Zombicide Invader. And with that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.